Hello everyone and welcome back to Office 365 Concepts. Are you tired of struggling with Outlook profile issues? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot the frustrating problem of being unable to create Outlook profile. If you are new to Outlook, let me show you what do I mean by Outlook profile creation. Go to control panel, mail, show profiles, add, give it a name, Click OK. Now here we add the details of a mailbox. For example, your name, your email address, for example, test.domain.com, then your password and your password. And then you click next. So this is one of the ways how we create profiles in Outlook client. But let's say you click next and during the process, you got an error. There could be many reasons why Outlook profile is not getting configured. So we will discuss all the possibilities of this issue and how to resolve this. Also, depending on the error you are getting here, you can troubleshoot the issue. Please keep in mind the troubleshooting steps that we are going to discuss in this video are applicable to Exchange Online. Some of these steps can work in IMAP or POP protocols, but not all. So let's start with a scenario where all the users of your M365 tenant are not able to create Outlook profiles. Remember one thing, this scenario doesn't cover Outlook profile issues after hybrid migration. So if all the users in your Microsoft 365 tenant are not able to configure their Outlook profiles, you should always check for service outage. Administrator can go to Microsoft 365 Admin Center, Health, and then go to Service Health. Here you can check ongoing service outage. If you see a service outage related to Outlook profile creation, open the service outage, go through the details, check what is the update from Microsoft, if this outage is resolved or not. If there is no service outage related to this issue, check if users are able to log into OWA. You can ask one of the affected users to go to outlook.office.com and check if that particular user can log into OWA or not. If that user is able to log into OWA, that indicates his mailbox is provisioned. That means the mailbox is successfully created in Exchange Online. So the problem is somewhere with Outlook that needs to be fixed. And if the user is not able to log into OWA as well, then the problem can be with your subscription. In that case, administrator will go to Microsoft 365 Admin Center, billing your products. On this page, you can see how many licenses you have in your tenant and what is the status of the licenses, whether they are active, expired or disabled. If subscription is active, then check if the licenses are still assigned to the users. Because if you have group based license assignment, then you need to check the security group, its members and if the license is assigned to the group or not. If you want to learn group based licensing in detail, I have mentioned link for that video in description. You can go through that after this video. Now let's assume your subscription is active. Licenses are assigned to the users. Users can log into OWA as well, but they cannot configure their mailbox in Outlook client. Now the next thing that you need to validate is auto discover record because Outlook uses auto discover service to fetch the mailbox settings along with the XML file that is required for Outlook profile creation. If you want to learn auto discover in depth, I have mentioned link for that video in description. You can go through it after watching this video. Coming back to auto discover to verify auto discover, you will go to MX toolbox, open a browser and type mxtoolbox.com. And here type your domain, but the format will be auto discover dot domain dot com and hit enter. If you see value auto discover dot outlook dot com, that means the auto discover record is configured for your domain. If this value is incorrect or it is not published, then you need to create a CNAME record for your domain that points to auto discover dot outlook dot com. Let's say auto discover is working, but still you are facing this problem. Next, you can verify if you have a firewall in your environment and it is not blocking the request sent to Microsoft 365 services. Depending on the firewall you are using, you can check these settings. You can also run Outlook connectivity test to check if Outlook is connecting to your mailbox. We are going to talk about Outlook connectivity test in few minutes. Now let's talk about the scenario where only one user is not able to configure his mailbox in Outlook client. In this scenario as well, we should check if the user is able to log into OWA. So you can ask the user to go to outlook.office.com, 
and check if that user can log into OWA or not. If user is not able to log into OWA, then check what error he is getting in OWA and troubleshoot accordingly. You can also check if license is assigned to a user or not. You can go to active users, find the user. Under licenses, you can see what license is assigned to the user. And if the user can log into OWA, then the problem is only with Outlook. So in that case, the first step should be Microsoft Support and Recovery Assistant. But before you use this tool, always check if user is a migrated user or it is hosted in Exchange Online. The reason for this check is if you have Exchange Hybrid deployed and the user is migrated from on-premises, then SARA tool will give you CNAME record error. Because in Exchange Hybrid deployment, CNAME record is always pointed to on-premises. If you want to learn how to install and use SARA tool, I have mentioned a link for that video in description. So once you have installed SARA tool, open it, select Outlook, go Next, and select I need help setting up my Office 365 email in Outlook. Click Next. Make sure you are running this tool on the affected machine. Click Yes, where it says, is this the affected machine? Go next. Here you will enter the username and password of the affected user and follow the instructions. Most of the time this tool creates Outlook profile or it will give you the reasons why profile is not getting configured. So based on the instructions provided by this tool, you can narrow down the issue. But let's assume Sara tool didn't resolve the issue. Now what next? Next you can check if Outlook client is getting connected to the mailbox and to verify this, you will go to browser, go to exrca, which is Microsoft Remote Connectivity Analyzer. And here you will run Outlook Connectivity Test. If you see errors in this test, resolve them and try to configure profile again. If this test is passed, then the next step is to verify if MAPI protocol is enabled for the user. You can verify MAPI protocol using Microsoft 365 Admin Center or using PowerShell command. Let me show you both ways. In Microsoft 365 Admin Center, you will go to Active Users, you will find the user. Open the user account. You will go to mail tab and then click manage email apps. And here you can check if Outlook desktop MAPI is enabled or not. And to verify MAPI protocol from PowerShell, you will open PowerShell. We will connect to Exchange Online. And once you are connected to Exchange Online, run get hyphen cache mailbox, hyphen identity, name or email address of the user. Pipe FL and look for MAPI attribute. So here we can see MAPI enabled says true. That means MAPI protocol is enabled for this user. If this value says false, in that case, MAPI protocol will be disabled for this user. So you need to enable it. But let's say MAPI protocol is already enabled for this user, but still he is not able to configure his profile in Outlook client. There is one more step that you can add in this troubleshooting, and that is registry keys. With the help of registry keys, you can change the flow of auto discover service. When Outlook tries to connect to the mailbox, it follows multiple lookups like HTTPS root domain, local XML file, HTTP redirect, and so on. So we can create registry keys to control the flow of auto discover so that Outlook can find the mailbox and its settings. Those are required for profile creation. To create registry keys on the affected machine, open, run, and type reg edit. You will go to H key current user, software, Microsoft, and look for office, expand version, go to Outlook, and then click auto discover. Now here we will create three registry keys. Right click, new, click D word 32 bit value, and we will give it a name exclude SCP lookup, and we will give it a value one. Click OK. Create new D word 32 bit value. This will be exclude H HTTPS root domain. Value will be one. Click OK. And we will create one more registry key, D word 32 bit value. And this will be exclude 
HTTP redirect and this will be zero. So here what we are trying to do, we are asking auto discover service to exclude SCP lookup and root domain lookup and directly go to HTTP redirect to find the mailbox. So this way you can control auto discover service using registry keys. But if still issue occurs, user is still not able to configure his mailbox in Outlook, then I would suggest you to check behavior on a different machine. If you found the problem is because of the office suite, you can perform online repair. And to do online repair, you will go to control panel, programs and features, select Microsoft 365 apps for business, click change, and click online repair click repair and click repair again. So this way you can repair office suite online. Now, whatever steps we have discussed in this video, this is not necessary to follow these steps in the same order like I have discussed. You can follow them in your own way, but every step can help you to troubleshoot and isolate the problem. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment down below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.